Natalie has an absolutely gorgeous model today. <laughs> Our very own Lizzie. <laughs> I had to rope her in. Okay, I've been asking her forever. <laughs> Natalie, always good to see you. And you always Hi. have such great tips. What are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about on air makeup. Mm -hmm. So, like awesome. what you guys would do every day, but into real life translation, what we would do like for videos or, um, you know, things like that for like weddings and how to enhance right. it and make sure that we have our best face forward. There so, you, um, you know, for you ladies, you guys have to make sure that <laughs> it, it stays every day yeah. and that, you know, on air we're not eating off lipstick and, right. and things like that. So, you know, normal rules and tips may not apply. Um, and I want to make it kind of easy for you guys. Maybe that you guys will take some tips and start using them. Yes, Who absolutely. Knows? We're always Who looking knows? for tips uh, or products that are great. So. Yeah, you know, Liz always looks great, but yes, I was thank like, you. You I try. <laughs> you you just slap it on. That's my plan. <laughs> <Pretty. for money. laughs> but you know, I just thought it would be really fun to to use somebody that everybody sees every day, and yeah. it would be fun to try a little absolutely. something a little different. Um, you know, a few tips are definitely using a foundation that um, we can make look airbrushed, mm -hmm. and. And by doing that, we can use either a liquid or a cream. And, you know, I we've talked about airbrush on air before and how I've showed it and used it, but that's not something that you guys are able to do every day. Right. So by even taking a cream or a liquid and using a regular powder brush, one like this that actually has a little bit of a lighter tip that picks it up and then disperses it differently, or even one like this that's like a bronzer brush, okay. will give you this really airbrushed look as oh, we wow. put it on. And we'll show you. So that way it looks flawless and you can add coverage without having to wear too much because mm. you guys have to wear a little yeah. bit more to make sure that it looks Our good every day. Our pores are like, what exactly. are you doing to me? <laughs> so the less we can wear, the better. So using a primer right. underneath your foundation to make sure everything's filled in basically before we put it on and then doing something of this nature is going to help you get that flawless look without using as much makeup. Right. So yeah. Let's so. talk lips. Like what, what's the best thing to do with lips? Like to make sure they stay on all day because we're constantly talking, licking our lips. Exactly. Well, you know, I love lip gloss and I would love for to only be able to wear lip gloss yes. all the time. I but know. I, you know, I've learned on air I need to wear lipstick because right. as I talk, I walk out and I'm like, oh, I had some on and now I don't. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, using something that is still natural, but you want your lips to pop a little bit more. Um, I, that's what you guys are doing. You're mm -hmm. talking and people are paying attention to that. But you also don't want it to be distracting. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, maybe all the time big red lips are not the best thing. But you know, by lining with a little bit deeper liner mm -hmm. to give some definition to the lip, filling in the lip completely, okay. it's going to keep it from going away and like make it last through the, you know, whatever segment you're on. Yeah. And then I actually have a long wear lipstick. Okay. Well, I hate oh, to cut you off now, we're, but we're running out of time, as always. <laughs> but you'll be back with, in a little bit longer, and we can continue this with all Can't your great tips. Sticks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sounds, Sounds good. good.